Good evening. The Neighborhood Watch volunteer who shot an unarmed teenager to death in Sanford, Florida, has just been charged with murder. The special prosecutor in the case has charged 28-year-old George Zimmerman with second-degree murder in the death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. Conviction on that charge could carry a maximum penalty of life in prison. Zimmerman says he acted in self-defense. The shooting on February the 26th set off a debate all around the country about race and the right of self-defense. We begin our coverage tonight with Mark Strassman in Sanford. Mark? Scott, today uh, George Zimmerman turned himself in and is now in custody. The special prosecutor's team spent uh, 18 days reinvestigating this case, and she believes that George Zimmerman's killing of Trayvon Martin was not self-defense. But murder. We did not come to this decision lightly. This case is like a lot of the difficult cases we have handled for years here in our circuit, and we've made this decision in the same manner. Let me emphasize that we do not prosecute by public pressure or by petition. We prosecute based on the facts of any given case, as well as the laws of the state of Florida. A second-degree murder charge means no premeditation, but it does mean the special prosecutor believes that Zimmerman killed Martin with a depraved mind without regard for human life. The controversy has only been heightened because so little is known about what happened that night. No witnesses saw how the confrontation began after Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch volunteer, called police to report a suspicious person. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. It's raining and he's just walking around looking about. Okay, and this guy, is he white, black, or Hispanic? He looks black. Moments later, the dispatcher asked Zimmerman a question. Are you following him? Yeah. Okay, we don't need you to do that. But within two minutes, neighbors in nearby townhouses began calling 911 to report two men fighting. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right, what is your number? Just gunshots. Zimmerman had a lawful concealed weapons permit for his 9mm handgun. And Florida's so-called stand-your-ground law gives people wide latitude to use deadly force rather than retreat if they're afraid for their lives or in fear of grave bodily harm. Zimmerman told police Martin had attacked him, breaking his nose and knocking his head against the pavement. Police officers reported Zimmerman had a bloody nose. But 40 minutes after the shooting at the Sanford police station, the camera does not appear to show any obvious head injuries. Zimmerman was questioned by police here for five hours and was released without being arrested or charged. Since then, the 28-year-old has not been seen in public. Zimmerman has a new lawyer now. His name is Mark O'Mara. He is a, an experienced trial lawyer practicing here in Orlando and is also a former prosecutor. Yesterday, Zimmerman's former legal team cut ties with him after they complained that Zimmerman had cut contact with them and actually called the special prosecutor himself. Scott, Zimmerman will have his first court appearance sometime tomorrow. Mark, thank you very much. Trayvon Martin's parents watched the special prosecutor's news conference on television. Tracy Martin and Sabrina Fulton had been vocal in calling for an arrest. Angela Corey, the special prosecutor, called the parents just before the news conference to let them know about her decision. Today, Prosecutor Corey called them, quote, those sweet parents. This is one of those cases that has captured the, the attention of the entire country and reached all the way to the White House. President Obama said this when he was asked about the case last month. But my main message is, is uh, to the parents of uh, Trayvon Martin. Um, you know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. Uh, 